Hey guys, welcome back to the big build. Over 16 build episodes, we're making this. All right, we start this episode by actually building a little bit of a few extra houses. I threatened on the last episode we we're gonna do it and now and here we are. Now this is the uh, narrow gauge where you can see where we are actually. Between the factory area and uh, the, the, the sawmill, that's the word, that's the one. Now that's not flat, so, and these aren't splines. So obviously, I've never used these Albert streets, so there's one thing I want to use. There's loads of them if you actually look them up on the download station. I tend to go for splines because they go over the contours of the earth better you know the so if you've got a hill then you can get away with it or single houses again for the same reason the problem with the Albert ones that because they're not a spline you have to have them completely flat yeah, look at the difference in height there but yeah, smooth it down there's no problem that's it put a nice wall there Nothing like a nice wall. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna put that in, put that in the other side. Straighten it out from there, bump there, see, it looks perfect. Yeah, half houses. Half houses are actually very good if you just wanna put them on the edge of the board somewhere, if you've got something like that. Now there is a terrace, which is at an angle. I think this is it. It's specifically not specifically, specifically, <laughs> my daughter, yeah, um, for uh, hills like that. So it's good to use. Now, I had a feel, I had an idea because this, these houses got back uh, garden gates there, that we should put some sort of surface here. So This spline seems to do the job quite nicely. Now in theory you could put cars and stuff there, or garages, but I don't think I do. But uh, One thing I should have done is probably take out that wall. Right, so we're a bit further up. We're gonna, what we're doing now is really hiding the edge of the board, some hills. So a few episodes ago, we we're gonna do that. That's the end, that road which we laid. Past the uh, forest, forest street at the moment, it's not forest, it will be a forest once we've finished. I have a forestry without forest. Smooth a little bit. I never put you through all of this, this takes ages to do. So on the smoothing, if you smooth from the bottom, it's slightly lower at the top. If you smooth from the top, it's slightly lower from the bottom. This is quite simple stuff and the the bigger the percentage you're using on it, then the uh, the quicker it's done does it. But the honestly, use fifty percent basically. It, it doesn't look real if you use anything above that. Yes, I want to get it parallel, but they didn't want to be parallel. We notice the track type's changed. I didn't like the floaty floaty track. Actually, because this is going to be painted grey here, it sort of fits in. Right, there's a little siding. I think we're probably going to keep trains here. I'm not going to call it a depot, but a siding with a, there'll be a couple of sheds there. Yeah, that's you can see now why we painted those grey. We, we changed the track there. The position of the track is exactly the same, it's just I like changed the type of it. Trying to choose a grass so actually fits on the colour of that road. If you notice, the edge of the road actually has a grass colour, so trying to find one there which really is sort of similar colour. I 
Oh, sure, I gave up on that idea. Undo, 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 undo. Yes. Dark of the shirt's more dirty. There we go, it's a bit better there, that one. Now here's all going to be woods anyway. I'm going to place a load of trees. Right, this episode or next we'll get that, uh, that done. Some heather and heath and sorts of things above there as well. One of the keys to doing this, always. It's just don't do the same thing, because nature is never the same thing everywhere. Just keep changing it. Don't do a pattern. I think that's a similar thing with uh, when you're doing a building area as well, that because not one person owns everything, that it's all different in a town. So just don't copy everything. And if you use a spline or something, like a spline of... Um, a hedge, for instance, some dots some extra trees on it because it just repeats. So just add a couple extra trees here and there. What that does is break it up. It doesn't matter if it's you know quite far away. You know, we're using really low low end trees here, for instance. That doesn't really matter. We use a couple of different ones. Just enough to sort of uh, make a change. And then we'll put the nice ones where you're gonna see right at the front. So the, the same thing what I was saying with the splines is that at the back where you're not going to see it, it doesn't matter. Use a spline, whatever, of, of, of a hedge or something. But further on, if you try and use the better splines and also mix it up by adding some individual assets as well, just to sort of break it up a little bit. So right here, we're always, all we're doing, as I say, that we're putting the, the low end trees at the back and the nicer ones to the front. And then we had a quick look there to see what we could see. We don't want to see too much of the low end ones. Although probably these woods would have been planted, if this were the real thing, you'd have a wood which is planted and they'd be generally the same tree because they want it to be cut down so they want consistency. That We don't want that because we want it to look more natural. So we're adding, we're adding lots of different types of trees in here. Now, one thing I did try and do from the main line, I'm trying to hide that area. So I put a hill in between this hill here. I don't really want you seeing. I, I sit, I want as you drive to it, you sort of, oh, look what's over there. Not that in, right in the distance you're going to see it. So you can't see it from either side because I have a hill both sides. And that's actually something what the trees are doing as well, helping to hide, just lifting it a little bit more. Really low end stuff here, they're, they're quite literally flat, but you can't see that from over there, so it's fine. There's no point putting really nice trees on, on the back there, so yeah, I, I Shouldn't have put those ones in. They're, they're a bit pointless, but. Yeah, colour it a bit more black. And we'll offset that with some other colours in the moment as well. Just to smooth it off a bit. The one reason I like that initial grass, it's got squares on it. I don't like the wireframe. I know you can use that. I don't really like it. But the grass actually is, as long as you don't twist it around when you're placing it, it will uh, be very similar. So you know which way around the land's going. But I don't like it actually as uh, an ongoing entity. I, I, I will, I, I, 
I would always try and paint straight over the top of it. See, now we've got about three colours here, and that looks much more natural, doesn't it? You've got the black, you've got uh, two grey, uh, greys, browns. Now here we're trying to modify it again. Different colours mixed in. Now I decided it was too light. Now I decided it wasn't. <laughs> indecisive, very indecisive. I'm sure I have a feel there eventually. Once we've got grass on here, grass splines and things, it's going to look okay. Now, it's all well and good putting all these in colours on, but I said this earlier, or was it a previous episode, I don't know, we're calling those in one go, that the different heights of the different paints is annoying. That it, it does cause a problem when you're laying something. I think the background doesn't matter, but when you're, you're painting the, the track area, that's fairly annoying. Because what actually happens, it doesn't just raise and lower it, sometimes it actually breaks it. Um, so you, you're seeing through the land into nothingness, and it makes the whole thing look like it's floating. I remember a comment from uh, the Milton episodes with, um, with the aircraft and the bus going round that it looked like it's floating. It wasn't actually, it's was actually dead center. But the problem was the paint is pretty much see-through. And in order to fix that, I have to just take out that paint. There's no other way around it. So I remember the, uh, if you watch the episodes, the passengers where they get onto the plane in the end episode. It really just like it's floating. It really isn't, though. I, If you indent it anymore, it still looks like it's floating. The problem was that was the best colour for that area. It's a shame. It's a, Trains is a compromise. You, you have to understand that when you play this game. If you understand it, you're okay. If you don't, if you... If, if you're not happy with that, you're not going to be happy with this ever. I should take that wall out at the back there so cars can actually get in and out. But yeah, at some point I'll do that. Can I get in there out the other side? I don't know. Is there way in there? Can't see. See, that looks like it's floating, but that's the grass. But once you've actually got some grass blades on there, it'd be fine. There. That's why I'm not too bothered on that bit. We'll put some grass splines and uh, probably some turf effects there as well. And while I'm moaning, the problem with turf effects is it follows the same thing as uh, the hills. It actually follows the squares. You can't actually paint in between, can you? If you look at all the paint, it's... It's never even. It's because it follows the, the actual squares of the uh, game. That's the way it works. So Turf of X does the same thing. Is it a shame? You can't put a splodge down. It just goes exactly where you want it to. You'll notice actually like then now, for instance, you can see the, which way the squares are going because it's, the paint there is like little triangles. Everything works from squares on this game. Right, that's enough fencing, I think. So uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. You press that ding dong bell button. It even tells me when I put more stuff on. Bit of a mouthful there, yes. Yeah, so, well, if you're watching uh, live when I put these on, next one tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.